Welcome to the Tenkara Man Cave, headquarters for TenkaraGrasshopper.com. My name is Graham Moran, aka Tenkara Grasshopper. Let me give you just a brief history of my fishing life here. Started out learning to fish with my grandfather at an extremely young age. My grandparents owned a cottage in northern Wisconsin on Fence Lake. I spent every summer from the time I was two or three to the time I graduated from high school. Fishing was primarily spin gear with lures and worms. The prey of choice was jumbo perch, smallmouth and largemouth bass, a whole assortment of panfish, walleye, muskies, and lest we forget, northern pike. This was at a time and place when there was no catch and release ethic. We are 100% subsistence fishermen. To give you an idea of how many fish we had harvested using our spinning gear during any given summer, we were able to completely fill an upright freezer with fillets while still having fish for breakfast every morning. As I got older, my fishing crowds increased dramatically, as did my rod collection. Eventually, after many years of spin fishing, I asked my grandfather to teach me fly fishing when I was about 16 years old. He agreed and my life as a fly fisherman took off at that point and I have never turned back. My grandfather taught me the traditional western style of fly fishing and after reading plenty of books about fly fishing in the west, it didn't take long for me to make the decision to head to Colorado and steep myself in the history and tradition of Colorado fly fishing. Being in Colorado opened many doorways to me. I learned much from those in what the Tenkara community would call Western fly fishing, which consists of a rod, reel, line, leader, tippet, and a fly. Oh, and what I have dubbed the death vest. The symbol of Western fly fishing. The overloaded fishing vest. And yes, I still own mine, even now. Over a number of years, I became very comfortable with what I thought of as a traditional fly fishing. I caught my fair share, fair share of fish, but I always felt something was missing from my fishing experience. Then it happened. In December of 2010, I received a fly fishing magazine and came across a full page advertisement for Tenkara USA. That was the day my life as a Tenkara angler started. I had no idea how excited I would be to find a style of fishing that was so simple in its equipment requirements. I mean, really? All I needed was a rod, a line, a tippet, and a fly? Yep, that was the case, and here we are today. My goal with TenkataGrasshopper.com is to streamline the learning curve associated with Tenkata. Don't be intimidated with the fact that there is a learning curve associated with it. Even me, the most uncoordinated person on the planet, picked up Tenkata in just a matter of days. That is not to say I am an expert in any shape or form, just that I am able to catch and land a fish using a Tenkata rod. Using real world experiences and the experiences of my fellow Tenkata anglers, I will call out what seems to be the best solution for many Tenkara scenarios that are frequently encountered. Through trial and error, mostly error on my part, I hope to remove the stumbling blocks and pitfalls that you, as a new or maybe even an experienced Tenkata angler, might encounter. By doing this, I hope you can progress a little more quickly than I have. You will not find just skill sets common to Tenkata but some of my ramblings about fishing and life. You will also find plenty of reviews on books and equipment as they become available. When it comes to the reviews on TenkataGrasshopper.com, please be aware that everything is purchased with my own money. I am not writing these reviews to receive any kind of financial return for a good review. When I write a review, you get my opinions as a consumer not a salesman. Again, welcome to TenkataGrasshopper.com and I hope you find everything you might seek in terms of Tenkata. If not, there are so many amazing resources available right now, you, don't, you won't know where to start or stop.
Domo Arigato.